So hello, welcome to the 59th episode of the But I'm Knitting podcast. My name is Ramona, I'm a knitter from Toronto, and welcome to my corner of the crafting world. So behind me, you can quite clearly see I'm in a old location, just sitting a little bit further away. I'm usually sitting practically right underneath that mirror. This is when I first started the podcast. Um, and then after that, I moved, when it got too cold, I moved into my room to do it. And I would have done it in my room today, but one of our bathrooms is being remodeled and the banging and all of that kind of stuff. So it's going to make it a little bit noisy. So I'm out in the backyard again in the middle of a heat wave wearing a sweater because I ain't comfortable showing off bra straps, but whatever. So this week I have two works in progress. Well, one of them is a new cast on and the other is a uh, yarn that I've dyed. Um, I don't know how long this episode is going to be. I don't think it's going to be that long because as of yet, my laptop has decided it doesn't really fully want to function. Um, I'm having issues with the sound where it wants to record or where it doesn't want to record. Or sometimes the camera will just decide it doesn't want to work. But it's usually a problem with the sound. So it means I need to start investing in a new laptop. But that's not going to happen anytime soon. And well, the limitations of my iPad is that it will only do 15 minute stints before it will say, nope, you're too big for YouTube. Even though YouTube says it's not a problem. I ain't going to argue with it. So, let's start with my new cast on. Um, yeah. So, uh, basically, I sat down there and for the past, last, yeah, I think it was last week I was talking, no, I know what it was. I didn't actually talk about this for a while. Um, I've been on a, not really anti-sock, but a not really willing to knit socks uh, kind of mood for the past uh, few months. Yeah. Um, so... I finished off a couple of projects. I didn't cast on anything new. And uh, now I decided that I'm going to cast on something new today. I even wrote a blog post about it, like my once in a blue moon. So if you see the link for the, for the blog, well, you know there's actual update. So I saw the, um, so I decided to cast on something new today while I was debating, when am I going to do the podcast? When am I going to do the podcast? So I'm going to do it. So I cast it on while I was debating. Um, I cast it on and I, I'll show you what I've done. So I decided to do a self striping, basic self striping. Um, I have a collection of um, Patton's Croix striping sock yarn and that's what I'm using for it. So I started out with, um, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a basic vanilla sock. So, hold on. Ah. So this is how far I've made it so far. That's it. I. It's the Patton's Croy. Uh, the main color I'm going to be using is um, Sweet Stripes. Can you see? Yeah, it's the Sweet Stripes colorway. Um, the one I started out with is called Gentleman's Gray. I think it's the part of their FX line, the Patton's Croy FX. So it's just a very, very dark gray. Not quite black, but might as well be black type of color. And I'm using a size 1 US. I think, I don't know, it was pretty much either a 1 or a 1 US because this yarn is usually pretty thick, so I don't need it any thinner because I, I usually do my vanilla socks with a size zero I decided to do it with a size one instead of a one and a half like what I'd probably usually use for these so I got some mindless knitting to work on while I work on other while I you know do other things because sometimes I feel like I want to be more productive especially when I get longer shifts at work um like during my lunch break after you eat what do you do sit down there and stare at people for a little long so now I have something I can take with me because my shawl just takes up way too much um concentration and time so that is what I started today there's no rush on it it will be finished when it's finished um, my next project that I've been working on has been the one that you've been seeing for the past few episodes um, it's the spark of gray shawl by Melanie Berg and hold on am I in the middle of a row yes I didn't realize I stopped in a row when I was at knitting circle yesterday hmm which way am I going that way okay well I'll try and hold it up as best as I can. So, here, can I hold that better? Yeah, so here I am. This, where this uh, stitch marker was, that was as far as I was last week when I showed it to you. So I've done quite a few repeats on it. Um, I'm up to the 10th repeat. I got a, well, I'm in the middle of my 10th repeat. Once I finish that, I got, I'm about halfway there before I start on the last section of it. 
so this is still going to take a while um i'm still enjoying it it just feels like it's so much longer to get through every row but once i start it doesn't feel like it's such a burden to finish the row once i start it i just it was just because i reached the end of knitting circle and my ride is ready to go so i could not continue so the yarn that i'm using is um it's an 80 20 blend of uh wool and nylon it's what i same thing i used to dye my sock yarn out of so i dye these ones myself um so it's a bright yellow type of color and a black i think i was going for like a jet black it's more of a charcoal but still it's close enough so that is it so far um i'm using a size is it four us yes it's a four us needle these are the leaky needles that i'm using for these ones i actually kind of like i really do like them for shells it works out very nicely it doesn't feel like it's the paint is being stripped away as you're or the varnish is being stripped away as i'm working on it and it's still woods and it feels light so that is currently it for my current works in progress um i haven't touched any of my older projects like my grandfather's sweater which i kind of keep forgetting about it but it is what it is um so that is everything for my current works in progress i haven't really done anything else come on some water because it's hot okay so i guess i'll go on with what i've been dying um I was debating on Monday because I knew Monday was a holiday. I didn't know what I was going to do. I just had it in my mind I was going to dye something. And then, as per usual, I started to hem and haw as to what am I going to dye and all of that kind of stuff. So I finally decided I was going to try um, a technique that I had learned about on Craftsy with, um, in a sense, how to do colors that are kind of interconnected but not fully. And this is what I came up with. Is it in the right order? Is it in the right order? No, this one was like that. I think, yeah, that was it. So, sorry. So, these are the four skeins that I dyed. So, this is on the Knit Picks Bear uh, Peruvian Highland Wool um, that my friend gave to me a few weeks ago. So, the first one that I dyed was this lovely one. If I can get it to show without it blowing up. Can you see it? Okay, so it's yellow, it's got some yellow in it purple it's got pink in it somehow <laughs> not quite sure not complaining because i absolutely love it um so that was this one um i learned my lesson when doing these that i need to have more dye ready to go as opposed to the way that i did it but yeah so there was that one which then should lead into this one so this one has a little bit of yellow not much sorry I should have cleaned down my surface before I put it down there. Um, so it has purple and it has green for this one primarily. There's a little bit of yellow like you can see up here. But it's mostly purple, green, and white. I, I really do like the way that the colors played off of each other for this. I thought it turned out very, very nice. It's a, it's very, a lot of these, they turned out very, very light. I've never dyed a, um, um, a Peruvian type of this. I don't even think this is a super wash, right? No. They're not, it's not even a super wash. I've never dyed a non super wash, so I'm kind of as like you know, new experience for me. And then, sorry, then this one leads into this one. So, on this one, this still has the green, it has a little bit of purple, but very, very barely any. And then it starts to lead into these pinky red colors. Um, I didn't know what the russet color that was, what I the color that I had in a sense blended into. I didn't know how it would turn out. I always assumed russet to be more of a brownish red, but this came out like a red. It reminds me of Christmas, very much so. So then there's that. You can see the colors that are in it from there. And then from there, it leads into this one. Now to me, this one looks like it's all about the Christmas. Um, so there's lots and lots of red. There's, a, there's some green, but not as not too much. Um, I didn't manage to twist this one properly as nicely, but you can see it right there. So that's pretty much my four skeins that I dyed. And after looking at all of them, I decided I really, really like this yellow and purple one. So I was going to try it again in a fingering weight. So this time I just did one skein by itself. Um, I had a Pyrex dish that I used. Um, I put a little bit of water in it, like after I had it soaked in, um, I had it soaked in, um, citric acid on water i soaked it in there and then i put it in the in the just in the dish with a little bit of uh, boiling water 
um, and then I just poured the colors in like I just put yellow I put purple and I put green and I let the colors go where they wanted to go and then I think I tried to I'm still not getting this this speckling thing um, that's what I tried to do with those and what I tried to do with this and I still didn't get the speckles the crisp speckles like where you could see the individual dots I'm still not getting it I'm getting bigger splotches which is not what I want I still like it but it's not what I'm going for and after I started to dye this I realized um, when I was washing the yarn I'm there like I don't understand where these are coming from on the yarn so first so this is uh if you can see it right there it's the yellows the purples the green I really like this one I think this is gonna become a pair of socks um, uh, so I gotta come up with a pattern to use for it I haven't figured that out yet so what I mean about this extra piece that's just hanging off of there, I have no idea what it came from, but I'm going to assume when I got the undyed skein that it wasn't tied in properly, and so it's leaving all of these extra little bits, and I didn't notice it until after when I was washing it. So I think I noticed it a little bit when I had started to, after I'd soaked it, but by then it's like, what are you going to do about it then? So. I gotta find a way this is gonna be not fun to put back together but the yarn itself the way it came out after otherwise I I really like this one so I'm looking forward to working with this but not until I get to finish something else um, so this is it can you tell in the lovely big messy knot of yarn I, I love the colors in this one the greens the yellows and the purples yeah especially when you try and do it and it's not um, and it's, it's not like divided up in quarters or, or thirds or something like that of a full skein. It's like it was kind of rolled up on each other when I put the dye in. So it becomes a lot more variegated than I want. And it doesn't do like the you know, micro striping, which I was not looking forward to. So that is pretty much everything for all of the stuff that I dyed and everything that I've worked on. Um, I'm actually debating. I actually haven't really thought about thought through about this of... Um, well, not in any great detail of as to when I'm going to reopen my shop. I haven't done that in a while. I haven't added anything new to it. It was still in a state and I just set it to vacation mode. So I guess I'll keep you guys updated as to if that's going to happen. Um, I'm not going to give up on this. I really do like it. It's just right now I'm trying to do this whole thing of, um, and it says keeping your finances straight, knowing where everything is going. So that means I've got to try and be a bit more responsible. And that means I got to be careful as to when I'm taking out money to buy the stuff that I need in order to get what I want done. Um, yeah, so that's everything for that. And also, um, I finally figured out, like, my last dye, dye batch, I found, you know, colors that I def definitely wanted to get more of. Oh, I found one now out of the last that I used that I don't want to use again. Um, I think it was the emerald green that I was using because it washed out so much out of just about everything. If you knew how much bluish green there used to be in this before it practically all washed out. Um, so this color bled out a lot and I'm not a fan of that. I did not like the way that that turned out at all. Um, and it kind of ran all over everything. It's not... It's not a color that I want. So that one, I'm probably definitely not going to get that one in a larger size. But it was at least nice to try it out and, you know, start forming opinions as to what you like and what you don't like and all that kind of stuff in order to where you're going to go in the in the end. Um, so that is going to be everything for today um, or tonight, depending as to what time I get this thing updated. So it was nice talking to you. And I hope to see you again next time, probably in the next couple of weeks. Um, oh, also, for all of those who are interested, the Knitters Guild for toronto uh, the memberships are open up are opened up so you can get to uh get a membership if you'd like or the meetings are going to be starting again i think in a couple weeks on the wednesday um this is usually the third wednesday evening of every of every month so if you're interested it will be an option it's up on the website um and all of that kind of stuff so if you don't live local well see if you can find a local a local like knitting guild a part of your area if you want to if you want to join so that's going to be everything for today. It was nice seeing you. Bye.